world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fine. So in this video, I want to talk about Microsoft Sentinel and its hunting capabilities. Hunting is a thing that we haven't covered on this uh, YouTube channel yet, but hey, it's time to do that uh, right now. So first, uh, let's do a step back. What is hunting? Because we already have detections in Sentinel and hunting, well, it looks like the same. We can use KQL over there and we have results and we need to respond on them. So the difference between detections and hunting is for detections, we know exactly what we are looking for. We have modeled the threat and we are looking in our logs if the threat is in there. Whereas with hunting, we have a, a hypothesis. And based on that hypothesis, we are going to search in our logs um, if it's in there. But we don't know yet what threat indicators are there, uh, etc. So it is important to set your hypothesis right. Make it achievable. And what I mean with that is make sure that we can that we have the logs available to have results out of the hypothesis. Keep your scope narrow. Don't start with a hypothesis like search for strange logs because that's too broad. Make it scoped like a hypothesis to check whether a certain ATP or something is in your environment and keep it time bound. Look back to a week or two weeks or four weeks ago and make sure that every time when you are going to do a hunting session that it, it's useful. Hunt for threats that you probably can find in the environment. Don't just start with looking for a threat that is targeted on an OT environment while you are protecting an IT environment. Make sure that it is useful. Also, make sure that it don't overlap with your detections. And there are a couple of tools available in Microsoft Sentinel that can help you with that. But before I'm going to show you all the tools available in Microsoft Sentinel to check uh, how your coverage is, let's first get a really good cup of coffee because an Azure vlog without uh, coffee is not a good vlog, right? So here we are at the Azure portal and the thing that I would like to show you is the Mitre attack button over here. If we click on that, we see the Mitre attack framework and all the capabilities that Sentinel has uh, mapped on it. So what is the Mitre attack framework? If you go to attack.mitre.org, uh, you will uh, enter on this page. And this page shows the Mitre attack framework. The MITRE ATT&CK framework is a cyber kill chain. It describes every step that an attacker has to make in order to have impact on your environment. So if we look at the MITRE ATT&CK framework, we see all steps starting for an attack over here, reconnaissance, resource development, the initial access, etc. 
uh, all the way to impact. And impact is the, the, the thing where probably a ransomware will get uh, active. And here at exfiltration is the part where data gets out of the, uh, the environment. So the Mitre attack framework is a really cool thing um, to describe an attack. And, and we can click on all this, uh, this stuff. So if I go to phishing over here, we get a really good description of what phishing is, what detections you can make for it. Um, really cool. So if we go back to Microsoft Sentinel, you see exactly the same uh, framework mapped out over here. And I can select uh, all my stuff over here. So if I go for my scheduled and uh, uh, queries, this is what is covered with my detections in this uh, Azure Sentinel workspace. Not that much. We also open the uh, anomaly queries over here. We see that we map on a lot of more uh, stuff. We could also see here what it could be. So if I deploy all the analytic rule templates, this is what, uh, what coverage I will have. So we can use the MITRE attack capabilities in Microsoft Sentinel to see our blind spots and create hunting uh, rules around them. So let's now start. How can we start with hunting? If I go back to the Sentinel portal over here, um, the start to hunting is actually logs or search over here. If we have a hypothesis that a certain attacker group, which is using a certain IP address, uh, is in our environment, we can search for the IP address over here. If I click on start over here, it will execute a query and it don't has results at this time. If you want to do a more advanced hunt, we can use uh, logs over here. And we can type, for example, a KQL query where I look for sign-in logs filtered on a certain IP address where I expect that the IP address is being used by an attacker group. We have two results over here, which can support the hypothesis that we have. Coming up with a hypothesis and creating the query around your hypothesis can be quite hard. And Microsoft has your covered for that. Just as within the detection rules, there is also a section in Sentinel containing all kinds of hunting rules that you can, uh, can leverage. So if we go to Sentinel and we go to hunting, this is the place where you can see all hunting rules uh, that are available for you to use. And let's say we want to have rare audit activity initiated by user available uh, uh, shortly, you can click on the star button, which makes it uh, a favorite. And of course we can filter on favorites in this list. As you can see, it's now uh, on top of my list. I can run this query. It's now doing that. And it doesn't have any results. You can also see that over here quite easy. We can see the tactics that it uh, it got covered. This is really, uh, really nice. We can also add our own hypothesis, our own query by clicking on uh, query here. Demo, I give it as a name. Demo, I can paste in my query that I used earlier. I can do an entity mapping in this case. The value IP address. This is the one where I want to map on, and it is a address. I can go for create. I leave the tactics uh, and techniques uh, uh, empty right now. So this is just a demo. We are not targeting any of the uh, Mydra uh, attacks. And it's over here. I can uh, star it, so it's one of my favorites. I can uh, run it. And as you can see, it has two results. And compared to the previous run, uh, there are two more results, which is quite helpful if you're doing this more often than once. So you can see the difference between the last run. Uh, but this is really helpful. There is a more advanced way of uh, running your hunts. 
And that's by using Jupyter Notebooks. That is a thing that I will cover in an upcoming uh, video. And there you can use Python uh, in a Jupyter runbook to query, uh, do analysis, uh, use external sources to, to validate your data, all stuff like, uh, like that. That's more complicated and that will be uh, in one of my next videos. So in this video, we talked about hunting. I learned you quickly what hunting is. Um, important things, make it achievable. Uh, make sure that um, you make the scope as small as possible and keep it time bound. Uh, if you're looking over all your logs, you're running the same hunt every time and time again over the same data, which is not useful, uh, I think. Um, make it useful. Make sure that you are hunting on things that are not covered by detections. Um, and one last thing, if you are running your hunt often, um, that might be interesting to create a detection for it. So it will be automatically uh, running and creating incidents and uh, all that kind of stuff. I think that's really useful. We quickly went through the, the MITRE attack features in Microsoft Sentinel, where you can map out your whole workspace with relation to hunting rules, with detections, all kind of that stuff to the MITRE attack framework. The MITRE attack framework is a cybersecurity uh, uh, kill chain. And we went through the hunting experience in Microsoft Sentinel. We started with a search. Um, we can use KQL to uh, search for our data to investigate whether uh, our hypothesis is supported or not. Um, and we can create hunting rules with those KQL queries. We also saw that Microsoft uh, has a lot of hunting rules are uh, already available in Microsoft Sentinel that you can use, which I think uh, is great. So if you like this content, I'm planning to release a video every two weeks. So subscribe to this channel that when you're going to YouTube, my videos are popping up on your uh, home screen when there is something new. Uh, and as mentioned earlier, one of my next videos will be about uh, Jupyter Notebooks with Microsoft Sentinel to do a more advanced hunt. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.